everybody, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to be talking about some Ryzen rumors. I apologize for my voice because I am actually sick at the moment and that's also why I didn't post a video yesterday. So apologies for that. I slept most of the day. I still feel like crap. Um, so let's talk about some of these Ryzen processors. So we got some leaks from AMD. They came out with um, these leaks kind of surfaced and they look extremely promising. So much so that I'd be willing to say that AMD, if this is true, is definitely going to... Um, I will say catch up to Intel in the core, uh, in the core cl clock speeds. So basically what I want to talk about today is just go over these specs because they are really promising, actually quite insane, um, and then also go over like what I, how possible I think they are and also just debate on like what the impact will be. So first off, let's talk about um, these new processors, starting off the lowest end. I'm going to read through these, give you kind of my reaction, which is also, I've already read through these, so you're not going to get the full reaction, but these are pretty impressive. So the Ryzen 3, 3300, um, with, the rise, with the base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.0 gigahertz um, with six cores and 12 threads with a price of $100 and a 500 watt TDP and this will be coming out at CES uh, 2018. Uh, next up is the Ryzen 3 3300X with 6 cores, 12 threads and a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.3 gigahertz with a 65 watt TDP at $130 also coming out at CES. Um, next up, we've got the APU line. Um, we got the Ryzen 3 3300G with the same amount of core, uh, three, six cores, 12 threads, 3.0 gigahertz base clock, and a 3.8 gigahertz boost clock with a 65 watt TDP at $130. Um, next up, we've got the Ryzen 5s, which also follow this pretty impressive um, leap in technology. So we've got a Ryzen 5 3600 with 8 cores, 16 threads, 3.6 gigahertz base clock, 4.4 gigahertz boost clock, 65 watt TDP for just shy under $200 at $180. Next up we got the Ryzen 5 3600X with 8 cores, 16 threads, 4.0 gigahertz base clock, and a 4.8 gigahertz boost clock with a 95 watt TDP for $230. And then next up we've got a Ryzen 5 3600G which is of course going to be de debuting later on in C uh, probably the quarter three of 2019. Um, 8 core 16 threads, 3.2 gigahertz base, 4.0 gigahertz boost, 95 watt TDP with $200. And then let's get into the Ryzen 7s. These are, these are pretty impressive. So the Ryzen 7, 3,700, 12 cores, 24 threads, 3.8 gigahertz base clock, 4.6 gigahertz boost clock, 95 watt TDP for $300. Dang. Ryzen 7, 3,700X, 12 cores, 24 threads, 4.2 gigahertz base clock, 5.0 gigahertz boost clock, 105 watt TDP for $330. The Ryzen 9, 3800X with 16 cores, 32 threads, with a 3.9 gigahertz base clock and a 4.7 gigahertz boost clock at 125 watt TDP for 450 bucks, debuting the CES, hopefully. Whoa. And then we've got a Ryzen 9 3850X with a 16 core, 32 threads, 4.3 gigahertz base clock, and a 5.1 gigahertz boost clock, and a 135 watt TDP for $500. And that's going to be supposedly coming out in May of 2019. Holy. Okay, so let's just talk about a few things. I'm just going to talk about my honest thoughts. First off, number one, if you look at Intel's last gen uh, processor, the, the eighth gen series, we had something like uh, six cores, 12 threads for like $400 uh, was what the, when it came out. And it was rocking, uh, it had like 3.6 gigahertz base clock and a 4.8 gigahertz boost clock. But if you look at what AMD is offering, if this is true, um, a Ryzen 3 3800X, with a 3.5 gigahertz base clock and a 4.3 gigahertz boost clock 
that pretty much for 130 bucks that pretty much means you get everything you'll need for gaming that processor is perfect for gaming if you're doing gaming you're going to have enough power to stream do other things without a problem video editing that's fine um and you're getting that for 130 bucks that's like that's, that completely blows my mind um so we've got a ryzen 5 the ryzen 5 series the 3600 with a pretty much the highest end model the ryzen 3600x is faster and more powerful than my Ryzen 1800X that I have in this system for my video editing, with a 4.0 gigahertz boost clock and three 4.8 gigahertz or no, sorry 4.0 gigahertz base clock and a 4.8 gigahertz boost clock, and that's just 230 bucks. That is the level that that like that's the best gaming you can get. I think except you're getting the Ryzen 3850X or Ryzen 9. So unless you're going Ryzen 9. That's the best gaming processor, and that is such a good deal. That level of like that is such a good deal. Uh, I can't even argue. Like that's that a, or Intel right now has a four. I think it's like I forget, I forget the base clock, but I know the boost clock's like 5.0 gigahertz on the latest uh, 9900K, and they're doing the same thing, just shy. Like that's they're doing the same thing pretty much, and it's a lot cheaper than the $600 that the 9900K is. Um, Next up, we've got a look at um, the 3700X, which don't get me started on the Ryzen 7s because these are these are like the workstation powerhouses that we would have expected for like Threadripper or something. And this is like getting into what the original Threadrippers were. It was makes me wonder what this Threadripper is going to be. Is it's literally got a 4.2 gigahertz base clock, 5.0 gigahertz um, boost clock. That's that's the best gaming you can get. Like like what is you, you, that's the workstation grade that you for like 330 bucks like i i i don't even understand this level like if this is true i'm upgrading my processor right off the bat i mean heck this is insane um so let's talk about how this is going to disrupt a couple things first off number one for gamers and i would say there's not even a gamer option these are all workstation grade processors that literally have enough power to stream and do video editing and all the stuff that everybody always wants but at like insane prices, like a Ryzen 3 3100, or one, sorry, Ryzen 3 3300 is literally six cores, 12 threads. That's, that's a workstation grade processor. You can do streaming, video editing, all that stuff for a hundred bucks. Like the level that that is just insane. And the amount of, everyone was talking about how the, this new pro set of processors, since it's on seven nanometers, is going to be so much faster. It's, if this is true, it's visibly going to, compete with intel in gaming like i would be willing to say that some of these processors like the ryzen 9 3850x that will be probably the best gaming processor if this comes out and this is to believe and there's nothing else intel releases this is going to be the best gaming processor and i will be i will be recommending this because right now i always recommend amd processors for people doing workstation streaming and gaming but i i will have to recommend amd processors all across the board there's no way that you it's literally three thousand like the amount of processor power and the speeds and stuff is just going to be the best i mean we'll have to see what benchmarks do and we'll see, have to see how they like built these things and cash and all that stuff but that just blows my mind that they were able to do this uh, all successfully um, especially because most of the stuff is coming out at ces so i think everybody should um, pay attention to see what comes out there um, and i'm really looking forward to may of 2019 supposedly when the 3850x is it's 500 bucks but i mean heck that's that's such a workstation powerhouse i don't even know that's insane um so i'm going to be upgrading my system and getting grabbing me that when that comes out so yeah that's pretty dang impressive uh, let me know what your thoughts are of these uh these rumors i it just i don't understand like this is completely we we saw like a slight performance increase in the zen plus and now we're going to zen 2 and it's definitely visible that something has changed and AMD now is bumping their clocks up as well as cores substantially. Usually the AMD will do the more cores, kind of same clocks, or they'll upgrade the speed a little bit, but no more clocks or core counts. They did both this time, and I gotta say it's it's pretty um it's pretty. I mean, if it's true, I'm pretty excited. Um, I hope you all are too. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Enjoy my channel for other cool tech related news, videos, reviews, things like that, and uh, hope to see you around. Goodbye.